Hey, Penny Bash. It's the 19th of June, 2018. Um, this whole space thing lately is really starting to uh, get my attention, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's something going on with this, uh, this whole cabal, uh, this synagogue. Uh, they're planning something with space. That's all I can tell you. Um, Trump ordered a whole new branch of the military to be set up for a space force. And they give you the fake moon. Okay, so you got to forgive me. I'm a little tired, but I see this stuff and I got to share it with you. I, I've been seeing things for the past couple days to do with this. The whole space thing. I don't know, people. But he starts this one like a year after he revived the Space Council from the wicked, deceptive, destructive 1960s, right? And so he's out there, you know, touting his new space program here. And he, he says it's to start the sixth branch of the military, okay? And this is just how my mind works, you guys, but he says it's a big deal. Space Force as the sixth branch of the armed forces. That's a big statement. That's a big statement. And it is. They're telling the world that they're setting this up. I'm just telling you guys, this is what I get. But I see this, right? And then I remembered that he did the Space Council. Remember we had Buzz Aldrin? He was present for that one. He actually was given the, uh, the pen... At the end of the signing there, he stuck his hand out and got the pen. And uh, Buzz was his claim to fame before, of course, he went to the moon, uh, was the Gemini uh, program. Okay, uh, Gemini 12 was the last one of their little missions that they did for this program. And I just... I just wind up here, okay, but look at the stuff that, that I find in here that it's just ridiculous. The, the, the duration of the mission was three days and 22 hours. 322, really? 34 minutes, whatever, right? The launch time, this is what really kills me, okay? The actual launch time was 204633. On November 11th, 66, which is 22, which so you got 11, 11, 11, 11, right? 20, 46, 33. Well, that's universal time. If you converted that, right? This is crazy. And I don't even know why I looked at this, but I did. You convert that from universal time to add three hours, one, two, three. It lands you in Jerusalem, right? But, yep, there's Jerusalem right there. Three hours. Well, that would give you 23, 46, 33 that that flight launched. Okay? On 11, 11, 11, 11. Think about this because this is just the crazy part, you guys. When I'm looking at these videos, all I keep seeing is this seal, the eagle. The Great Seal, the 13, you know, I've been through things on this seal several times, and it's just loaded. Okay, this is a plan, people. This is a, a spiritual war that's been going on since the beginning. I mean, if we're just seeing it come to its cumulation, okay? So, the Eagles, the Eagles, and this week, this past week or so, I've been, this has come back into you know, my world, and the eagle, the phoenix, the 10 phoenix, the economist magazine, the stock market's not doing so good today, it's just not, you know, and it's just crazy, okay, that that article came out in 88 on the 9th of January to today is 11,119 days. And the stock market, from what I understand, is not doing well today, okay? So, the 11, 11, 11, though, okay, that's what's really crazy. I, I wish I could explain how this stuff comes to me better, but it's all pointing to the solstice, at least in this case. Uh, and 
space. I don't know what they're going to pull, but probably something. So you got the 23, 46, 33 for Jerusalem time, 11, 11, 11, 11. I'm looking at all these great seals everywhere. The sixth branch of the military. And it just comes to me. It just comes to me. The Phoenix. I used to live in Phoenix. And in Phoenix, there is a monument. Okay? And once a year, this monument shines down onto the great seal. At 11, 11 a.m. on 11, 11 every year and these pillars these monoliths represent the five branches of the military okay i hope you're following me here now he's added a sixth branch okay 11 11 every year on 11 11 buzz and his gemini mission blasted off on 11 11 11 11 at 23.46.33, Jerusalem time. Okay? They didn't even mention in this thing until you get way down in the bottom that there also happened to be a total solar eclipse the same day they launched this thing. Alright? Now, what does all this mean? Well, what this caused me to do is to go to 11.11. It's just what it made me do of last year up till the solstice, including the day, two, two, two. And to me, that holds a special place. That represents the key, David, to me. Key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. So he shall open and none shall shut, and he shall shut and none shall open. Isaiah 22, 22, and it's seven months, ten days, a 17, and it's 31 weeks and five days, 153. That's what I see. And the Gemini, crazy, the XII, the Gemini 12, the last mission, the II, the Gemini 12, okay, the X. This is what is being brought into this world, the X. The Gemini represents what? The twins, marriage, right? As above, so below, the male, female, the whole thing is just really mixed into this, this whole symbol here. And what are they doing? They're bringing in the X. That's the best way I can explain it the new creature, the new world order, okay? That's just how I see it. And they're bringing in their plan somehow, some way, through space. And it's all a deception. It's all a lie. But you're never going to know the truth until you get into the spiritual war. And you see Jesus Christ because he is the king. I'm telling you right now, you're going to have to choose a side. <laughs> you want to be on the side of Jesus. I'm just telling you right now. Okay? So all this crazy stuff going on. The stock market with the new world currency. The 10 Phoenix. I, <laughs> the, the monument in Phoenix. The 11, 11, 11, 11. The Gemini XII at 11, 11. At 23.46.33 in Jerusalem. I don't know what to tell you about this stuff, you guys. I don't. But something's up. And it's coming. I'll say it until it happens. Because this is what is testified in my spirit. I don't know exactly what or when. I just know you need Jesus when it's here. And it's, it's here. It's knocking at the door, people. So, get with the program and seek him diligently, okay? Just understand the deception, the depth that, that you need a savior, okay? So, keep that in mind. Next time they're talking about space 
and going to Mars and going to the moon. And look into these things for yourself if you don't already know. All right. So there you go, you guys. Have a good night. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 